Good evening from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well today. Sending loads of love as usual. Um, just to let you know, this Sunday at 7 o'clock on a regular basis will I start my live feeds to you lot. And I will answer as many questions as I possibly can to all of you that have been waiting months patiently to ask me certain things. Uncle Yami will do his best that he can do with answering in the best way that he can. If I can't answer, I won't. If I ain't got permission or it's too dangerous, I won't answer. No stupid questions, please, uh, that can get anybody into trouble, if you get what I mean. Right. On top of that, because I've got to do this twice, apparently, someone's told me it's about time I started those regular things, isn't it? It's been a long time, right? I've been crashing on doing these thing, this thing for so long. Uh, I've only done a couple of lives and I didn't even know how to do it properly at that time, did I? So let's come on, let's have a fair crack at the whip now. Um, we'll do the best we can for those that have waited patiently uh, for me to answer questions that have been with me a long time. Uncle Yam will do his best uh, with what he's got uh, to put people's minds at ease with what I saw and if I didn't, whether I heard it, whether they said it, whether I joined all the dots together and made sense of it, I will tell you in which way how I know it. Like I'm going to tell you about this one. Again, I talk about Kenny Noy. Right. To get this thing, book thing, because it seems like I've got a lot of old followers who know most of the story. I've got some new followers that don't know the whole story. That time in Whitemore, they tried to get rid of and assassinate the great Uncle Yami. One of those times there. Fair to say. Right. So look at the picture. Kenny's on the ones downstairs. And remember, never get this thing twisted. Kenny is my boy. You know, like my, my brother. My, I look up to him. Uh, he, he showed me nothing but respect. He took care of me, looked after me all the time I was there. But I never wanted him to ever think that I ever crossed him. And at this time, somebody tried to middle me up with the big man himself. And I had to get switch into the great Uncle Yami mode in that life, if you get what I mean. So imagine, right, they tried to burn me out. They tried because I was doing that one. It got to that stage in Whitemore where I uh, troubled too many, a couple of dealers too many times. So I was doing the spy hole one, you know, where the doors are caught open, where I can see other people going to buy stuff. It's not a soap, it's an open secret. It's not a secret uh, or anything. I've said it on other interviews already that I was a robber. You know, when I was in that life and I was in that dark, dark, dark place, I was a nasty, horrible man. You know, it's got to be said. Uh, never forget that. I'm not ashamed to ashamed to admit that, uh, but I did. After I was locked out of doors with a couple of the dealers, I used to spy through the door, like through the little thing in the corner, and see who was going to buy at his door. And when they used to go and buy their things, I used to be waiting patiently for 10, 20, 30 seconds, 40, 50 seconds. And then when they are thinking, when the thing's on there or whenever they're doing their stuff, I'll go crashing through the door. That was that. The great Uncle Yammy. Jammy Yammy, what a nasty bit of work, eh? Oh, God, proper scumbag. I know. Right, so I was doing that shift. So they tried to get rid of me. They tried a little burnout in the bin. It didn't burn. So they brought me back. And then all this talk about Kenny and the chicken that went missing with the food boat and all that kind of stuff. All right, I told you about the story about the other little bits and bobs and that. I haven't really got um, big permission off Kenny to go talking about everything else. It's not my it's not my kind of style. All I tell you is about the the things, the, the interactions that we had uh, that don't really affect him in that way, if you get what I mean. But anyway, there's somebody that spies who's on the food boat with him, sorry, and he spots that obviously I'm falling out with a few on the wing so he nicks a chicken off him Kenny Turk you nick the tur um, chicken off Kenny out the freezer bag you tried to blame me I wasn't having it because you thought because they had the beef of them lot upstairs and I went in on all of them as well let's have it right and then you tried to middle me up that with a big man but it didn't work I was there downstairs with Kenny. And you know when his face changes when he's talking to him. I was saying, Ken, no, I don't know what's happened. But blah, blah, with the food boat and things like that. With the chicken, right? Uh, his face changed a little bit. You know, he looked serious because 
lot don't know. Uh, you need to know uh, that a big man Kenny Noy can actually really, really have it. He's not no. He's not no. Uh, some people are saying this and that. Uncle Yami doesn't see it that way. Uncle Yami sees it that for his age and for what I saw along those years from swell side onwards all the way to the cat A's throughout that life. I saw him. He never asked nobody to do nothing for him. He would do it himself. So hey, who am I to you know? I tell you exactly what I saw, and he can have it. Let me tell you that much now. Anyway, we're down by the freezer. Kenny's looking at me going like that. I'm saying to Kenny, I said, I said, I said, Ken, I said, you don't think it's don't think it's nothing to do with me, do you? He's going, yeah, but I don't really, I'm not really, I'm not really thinking that way. Why would it be you? I, you can't, why would I think it would be you? You know, but when I looked at his face, I had doubts. I got to be honest. So what I did, I waited till evening association, and then I went downstairs. Uh and Turk was in his cell uh, because I knew what he was trying to do. He's trying to middle me up. Uh, and I just went into the cell. When I went into the cell, right, I threw a straight left hand, popped his lip, right? Didn't put him on the floor, right? We got into a little clinch. He tried to do the wrestling thing, the clinch thing where he's got the weight and all that. Straight away, right? So for about five, six, seven seconds, for a minute, Uncle Yabby was a bit unsteady. But then I heard everybody at the door looking through the spile, so then I went like that, went like that, found a way back in, folded you up, lied you down, put you on the floor, by the pipe, by the bed, uh, underneath the bed, and I laid you out. It's as simple as that. Uncle Yami doesn't need to come up here and think because there's witnesses that was at the spile. And on top of that, to make that story even clarified, because some people get it confused and ask me and it irritates me because I would have never have done that to anyone uh, like that, if you get what I mean. There's no hear so much rubbish from jail. But anyway, I went back after leaving the cell, leaving him on the floor. I went up the stairs because I wanted to wash my hands, but I was still looking for somebody else. But I had to. So instead of going to my cell on the freeze, I went to the kitchen. While I was walking down the left-hand side to the kitchen, there was a couple of geezers there, and they saw me coming, and they all started backpedaling. They were, I said, "What's up?" They said, "Oh, I think I thought you was coming for me as well, Uncle Yami. I for Yami B. I thought you was the final stand." I goes, "Nah, why am I coming for you for? And why would it come for you long time?" Blah blah blah. And I just went in the kitchen and washed my hands. Enough man witnessed that, so not there's anything. Uh, but I need to clear that up and clarify because it's, it feels like that some people are coming up uh, and you're talking about stuff uh, that's already been mentioned, but I haven't gone into detail of it already. But just to also clarify that Kenny Noy is my boy. Never forget that as well. Huge respect for him. Can never disrespect the big man. One of those, those kind of gizzards from that life there who, in fact, had me at certain times. And then when I saw him on the rebound in Larton, when I came through, I was coming through the gym and Kenny was standing there and he went, boy, Yami, it looks like the resurrection. You look like you're back. He goes, this is the Yami that I like. That's what Kenny said to me. He was in Larton and that was before I think he got these downgrade or something. Now nah, there was some kind of mix up with some escape thing, but it was all shit. He never done nothing. Uh, but Uncle Yami just likes to clarify. You know what it is, the whole truth. Nothing but the truth. Sending loads of love, maybe a bit more later.